All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. It's the beginning of the week, and it is a good one because we are finally dropping off the Shelby GT350 at Bum Bear's Performance to get the clutch swapped out. I have a brand new OEM clutch that I got on a trade. We're gonna go ahead and take out the slipping clutch, put in the new one, break the car in, and return it so we can go and get boosted. So if you guys are excited, feel free, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Let's go ahead and get into it. Whew, it is a foggy morning, man. We got quite a drive ahead of us because we are taking this car uh, kind of back toward my old side of town, which is kind of crazy, but I don't want to take this to anyone. Three, two, one. Sorry, neighbors. It's Head to the gas station because we are definitely yeah 76. I'm gonna damn near fill this up, so we have plenty of guys to get there and also back. I'm excited, man, because this time next month we should be dropping the car back off at Bum Bear's Performance. We can get the Pro Charger kit installed. Got all the supporting mods and uh, we're gonna make some steam, man. I do believe this car is gonna make anywhere between 750 to like 780 wheel horsepower just to start off because again, this is gonna be the first car that I have that is officially in the 700 horsepower range and I like to take my cars in steps. You know, I experienced uh, 200 horsepower, 300 horsepower, 400 horsepower, 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower. Now it's time to go ahead and experience 700. Hopefully we don't make 800. I know it sounds kind of strange, Hope the car does not make 800 horsepower uh, with like 9 to 10 ish pounds of boost on E85. If it does, obviously, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and tell them to uh, order a bigger pulley. That'd just be a complete waste of time <laughs> and money. We'll just have to, you know, tread softly. But uh, I think it's going to make anywhere between, you know, mid to upper 800, not 800, ooh, I hope not, mid to upper 700 wheel horsepower, and then we can go ahead and make adjustments. All right, let's see how packed the gas station is today. Oh, we got the fuel truck here too. It's packed. Oh, it's packed. Oh my God, it's packed. Shit. I don't really know exactly how we're gonna go ahead. And get her done. <gasps> oh, he leaving. Oh, he leaving too. Yes, sir.
gear some gears. I'm about to put like, yeah, I'm about to put like 20 bucks in here just so you can make it there and back. Catch you guys in a second, y'all. Oh boy, it is a busy one. Probably the most gas I've actually pumped in this car in a minute. But I know for a fact there ain't no E85. Well, actually, no, there definitely is, but I don't know where it is. So, I already got my receipt. Alright, so I'll make my way to uh, Bumbera's and then. I guess kind of when I get closer to the location, I'll catch up with y'all uh, because it's going to be some ways. So catch you guys in a little bit. One eternity later. Man, that took forever to get here. Traffic like crazy. Like they restore a lot of older cars here too that's pretty sick i ain't gonna lie this is actually pretty sick all right this is pretty cool we got old school with the new school this is pretty dope i was not expecting to see this they got the dash out but this thing is clean Got a GT350. What year is this? This is pretty sick. Yeah, red and yellow. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Got some other cars over here. Looks like they do a lot of like old school restoration. And like it smells like an older car, which is good. But this is pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, this Jeep is sick. Damn. Waiting for my ride right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Jesus. They smell like older cars too. Right hand drive car right here, stick shit. this 
Bel Air. Damn. Imagine cruising this like on a Sunday. I hope you guys can hear me because uh right by a highway, but Jesus, this is sick. Got the antique vehicle place. School Mustang GT 5.0. Can't really see in there. Hold on. You can see from the back. This is sick, man. Little red truck. This is badass. Yeah, I guess they restore a lot of older vehicles here too. Oh, they definitely do. Shit, I thought they took the tube out here. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's Malibu. Damn. could have took the two valves here huh i wonder like what type of old cars they work on though if it's just like antiques then maybe not but it's not bad should if i ever get another new edge it's a coyote swap or something like that Shit, I might be staying here. If they restore the old cars, they definitely can go ahead and coyote swap from the hood. Get all the wiring all nice. Hell yeah. I mean, look at this. Everything's like tucked in properly. Granted, it's an older motor, so there's less, you know, stuff going on, but that looks real, real good. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the POV drive as well as kind of the uh, walk around of what was outside of the shop. That was pretty cool, man. Honestly, I was not expecting them to be restoring older cars like that. If I ever decide to get a new Edge Mustang and do a Coyote swap with a TV6 Magnum, maybe a Whipple or an ESS kit, they could definitely knock that out the park because they had a lot of classics that smelled like they were, you know, brand new. They had that old smell on them, which is a good thing i'll keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on with the clutch uh on instagram so if you guys follow me on instagram if you guys don't that link is at the top of the description because this time next month i'm recording this on the 15th this time next month i'm trying to have the car dropped off at the shop again so we can get the pro charger installed with all the supporting mods and we can make some steam because we got to get like 350 miles at least within Honestly, less than 30 days, which, you know, is definitely doable. It's definitely doable. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.